weather, news, sports, and more. This is the Warrior News, Wilson source for news and information. Broadcasting from Wilson Area High School, the Warrior News starts right now. Good morning, Wilson. I have a couple announcements here that I'm pretty sure everyone's going to want to tune into. I know that we push you very, very hard here at Wilson for academic success, and you reach those expectations year in and year out, and that's proven by our school score. Anytime we look to make changes here at Wilson, we take a look at two things. One, how is it going to affect student success, and how are our students going to balance it? Okay. We are well aware that you grew up in a digital age and you have instant gratification from your cell phones and your music. As a staff, we've recently been looking at these two devices such as earbuds and cell phones and weighing in on making changes. So I looked at what the research says. Current research proves that using electronic devices while receiving direct teacher instruction greatly reduces your ability to connect new information with old information. Ultimately, it reduces your ability to apply any kind of new information. This is why we only allow cell phones in a classroom for educational purposes with a teacher's permission. On the other hand, studies of the brain, neuroscience, have found that students' brains work best when they get intermittent breaks, also called brain rests. With these studies and the students, you guys, in mind, we're implementing two big changes. First, cell phones can be used in a cafeteria and now in the hallways. Cell phone use in the classroom is still by teacher permission only and at no time will talking on the phone be allowed. The second change is with earbuds. Earbuds are allowed in the cafeteria as they are now, but we're also going to allow them in the hallway. At no point should the music be loud enough that the person next to you can hear it. You should not be sharing earbuds and at no time should, be music, should music be played directly out of the phone. Please be aware that when you enter a room, you are underneath the teacher's policies. That's when they take effect. So when you cross into their classroom, you should put all of the electronic devices away. We're going to implement these two changes on a trial basis. If these privileges are taken advantage of, we're going to be forced to make stricter policies in the future. I'm going to be back on air tomorrow to actually go over further detail and to explain more of our expectations. Have a great day. Good morning, Wilson. Today is Monday, February 6, 2017. On this day in 1778, France recognized the USA and signed the Treaty of Alliance in Paris, which was the first U.S. treaty. I'm Matea Jordan. And I'm Vittoria Marconi. Available scholarships include the Krista Cassioli Mahalik Memorial Scholarship, the Easton Emergency Squad Brian Engel Memorial Scholarship, the Hugh P. Gallinger Memorial Scholarship, and the Jen Bartholomew Memorial Scholarship, just to name a few. The guidance department has plenty of scholarship opportunities available for seniors. Criteria and application are available on the guidance office webpage through the high school website and on the black rack outside of the guidance office. District-wide PIAA sports physicals will be held on Tuesday, February 28th from 5 p.m. until 7 p.m. in the high school gym. SIPI physical forms and recertification forms are, are available in the medical office. Today, a representative from Penn State University will be here during 8th period to meet with interested juniors. In the spirit of Valentine's Day, the sophomore class will be selling heart-shaped lollipops with notes for a dollar apiece. The sale will take place in all lunch periods from beginning today, ending on February 13th. Show a friend how much you care about them by buying them some candy and supporting the sophomore class. Ascension seniors, the yearbook staff wants to add your cute baby photo, preschool, or kindergarten picture. If you want to be part of that page, please bring your photo with your name on the back to Mrs. Guerrero, Gianna Gomes, or Chelsea Coon. Students interested in being considered to volunteer for the Spring Special Olympics event held at the Banco Field at Liberty High School on Thursday, May 4th, should pick up an application from Mrs. David's ASAP. Applications must be completed and returned to Mrs. David no later than Wednesday, February 8th. Wilson Area High School will recognize the senior members of the boys basketball team. Support our student athletes by attending the senior night activities tomorrow, February 7th at 6.30. The ceremony will be held in the high school gym before the varsity game against Notre Dame. 
Stable Tables will be selling tables with custom orders available. The base model will cost $17.99 with additional prices for custom orders. Stable Tables, on time and on demand. For anyone interested in this year's track team, there will be a brief sign-up session in the cafeteria after school on Thursday, February 16th. If you cannot attend, please see Mr. Meckley, Dorenzi, or Brown. That is all we have for you today, Wilson. Be sure to add us on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter to keep up to date with your Warrior News. I'm Matea Jordan. And I'm Vittoria Marconi. Have a great day. Good morning, Wilson. Today is Monday, February 6, 2017. I'm Ryan O'Brien. And I'm Peter Rivera. And this is your News in Minutes. Fighting in eastern Ukraine between pro-Russian rebels and Ukraine armed forces is escalating at a high number of ceasefire violations were reported within the last two weeks. A woman who overdosed on heroin while watching her seven-year-old granddaughter was sentenced last week to two years of probation. Donna Massage was in the bathroom too long, so her granddaughter had to call her for help. 40-year-old Massage was found unconscious in the bathroom while she was on probation. She must refrain from using drugs and alcohol. She will be subject to random drug screenings. A worldwide beer company famous for their yearly Super Bowl commercials has released a sneak peek of their commercial this year. The commercial tells the story of the founder of Budweiser, Adolphus Bush, and his journey of emigrating to the U.S. In this trailer, it views discrimination and a different heritage of Bush. The commercial highlights Trump's new immigration ban, but the makers claim that the timing was a coincidence. The vice president of marketing of Budweiser stated that the commercial is a story we believe will resonate with today's entrepre entrepreneurial generation. Those who will continue to strive for their dreams and is going to follow through with airing it, although it could cause outbreaks from viewers and expression of political opinion. In India, large numbers of children began to get sick and show symptoms of fevers that then led to seizures and convulsions. The cause of the illness was unknown until now. Researchers have linked the illness to the lychee fruit. Research shows that the children that ate this fruit are more prone to get sick. More research is being conducted to gather more information on the topic. An eight-year-old American girl and a SEAL team member were killed during a military raid that was ordered by President Donald Trump in Yemen. The purpose of the mission was to capture information that would be valuable to the U.S. government. The SEAL team member was killed during a firefight on the ground along with many others, including 8-year-old Nora Alawaki. Officials say that in total 14 militants were killed along with numerous civilians. A Swedish circus held in Italy was doing perfectly fine until a Bengal tiger escaped on January 28th. Oscar the Tiger escaped from the circus and began roaming the streets of Monreal, Italy for a two hour time period. Residents of the town ran for safety while police officers and multi multiple circus trainers attempted to corral the tiger into their cage. Their attempts were a success and Oscar was transpo transported back to the circus without injury to himself or harm to any other residents. Our home galaxy, the Milky Way, is being pushed across the universe by a large unseen force. Researchers have known that the galaxy was moving for the past 30 years, but didn't know why. Now they have discovered an emptiness in exactly the opposite direction, which, the, which is providing the push. Indianapolis Colts punter Pat McAfee announced his retirement from professional football at the age of only 29. The 29-year-old will be a writer for Barstool Sports following his retirement. Beyonce Knowles became the new queen of Instagram in her photo revealing her pregnancy. She became the first person on Instagram history whose post received more than 7.2 million likes in less than 24 hours. The singer revealed last Wednesday that she is expecting twins, but Pharrell is expecting triplets, so Pharrell's better. Usually when we think of fast food, we think of inexpensive meals that taste alright, but it's probably loaded with fat, cholesterol, and sodium. But as it turns out, the packaging your food comes in could also have a negative impact on your health. According to a report published in the Journal of Environmental Science and Technology, fluorinated chemicals were found in one-third of the fast food packaging that researchers tested. Researchers suggest taking your food out of the packaging sooner rather than later. Major League Baseball has ruled that the St. Louis Cardinals have to hand over their two top draft picks and pay Houston Astros $2 million after Chris Correa the team's former director of scouting was found guilty of hacking the, the rival team's player roster. 
Although the actions of Correa were not authorized by the Cardinals, the MLB believes that the Cardinals should still be held responsible for his conduct. And before we go, we just wanted to share this little tidbit with you to help you get through more six more weeks of winter. If you were thinking about planning a vacation to avoid this extended winter period, even though there's been no snow, you should check out Hong Kong for the seventh year in a row. Hong Kong was named the number one city on the annual Top 100 City Destination Survey. On average, the city welcomes almost 27 million visitors. Thanks for joining us on this episode of News in Minutes. Make sure you check back next week for the next episode. And make sure to follow the Warrior News on Instagram and Twitter at Warrior News 15. For now, that's all we have. I'm Peter Rivera. And I'm Ryan O'Brien. We'll see you in a hot minute.